Uh, Senator John Cornyn of Texas, Senate Intelligence Committee, Senate Finance Committee, uh, kind enough to join us. Senator, um, with everything that's going on right now, this is just the latest uh, rally that shows that uh, a lot of these who protest over the world are sympathetic to the Palestinians and not the Israelis. And then staggering figures like 10,000 sortie attacks over it. the Gaza tend to reconfirm their suspicions. Israel, Israel is overdoing it. How do you respond to that and how the administration should respond to that? Well, Neil, this is about Iran acting by and through its proxies, Hamas in Israel, uh, in the north in Lebanon through Hezbollah, the Houthis in, uh, in Yemen, and of course the attacks against U.S. military personnel in, uh, in Iraq and in Syria by and through uh, Shia-backed militias. So this is all about the number one state sponsor of terrorism, Iran, which, which is on the path to get a nuclear weapon. This ought to, uh, this ought to strike uh, concern, uh, to, to say the least, in the hearts of anyone and everybody who is paying attention. And I agree with Secretary Panetta. We need to eliminate the threat just like we need to let uh, Israel eliminate the threat from Hamas in Gaza. You know, Senator, um, much has been made of the fact that w whatever our, our counter strike in, into Iraq this time, northern Iraq, to take out uh, this rebel force that conducted these attacks, uh, that is different than going into Syria and hitting that proverbial tent in a desert, but, but it is not going in to Iran. Do you draw the line, as the administration apparently draws the line, about not going in Iran to respond to Iranian-sponsored attacks where they begin in Iran? Well, I don't believe we ought to be escalating, but I don't believe we ought to be uh, doing the, uh, you know, a cruise missile through an empty tent or an ammo dump like uh, Secretary Panetta alluded to. We need to simply eliminate the threat by eliminating the terrorists who are conducting these attacks. And I believe that will be a significant deterrent. The Iranians know that what our capabilities are, but at this time we don't want to provoke a regional war uh, among all these elements that want to eliminate Israel from, from the face of the earth. So I think there's more we could and should do, as Secretary Panetta said, but uh, I don't think going into Iran at this time uh, would, uh, would be the right move. Um, is it your sense that a ceasing of, of activity, in other words, another pause, is, is not only off the table, it's never going to get back on the table, that, that, that that's it? Because it does reignite this concern for these hostages that now they might, they might never get out. Well, Iran, uh, excuse me, uh, Hamas understands that as long as they have hostages, that's something they can bargain with. Mm -hmm. And while I'm happy for the families with, uh, for the hostages that have been released, um, unfortunately, I don't think um, Hamas is ever going to completely give up their hostages because they believe in using them as human shields against uh, an attack by, by Israeli forces. So, unfortunately, uh, Hamas started this terrible, bloody conflict, but I think we need to give Israel uh, the time and the space in order to eliminate the threat. And unfortunately, that's going to involve casualties. Senator Gordon, thank you very much for joining us.